Welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy guide. This time around, I will show you a fast route for getting all the Arithmacy doors. I will also show you the solution for each door, but if you want to solve it for yourself, I do have a guide that explains how to solve the puzzle. You will also need the first level of Alohomora spell. You get this from the quest, the Caretaker's Lunar Lament, and that quest comes right after completing Percival Rackham's trial. I also have a guide for getting all the Demigai statues. We will start with the door in the Divination Tower. I believe this is the first door you are supposed to open because that is also where you find the key to solving the puzzle. Let's head to the Divination Classroom. Follow this path from the Central Hall. Go up the stairs and into the area next to the Flu Flame. This chest is where you find the solution to the puzzle. You also have the chalkboard that teaches you how to solve it. I will have a number and a symbol up on the screen, so you can use whichever one is more helpful. These are the numbers and symbols I will use for all solutions. The first door is found in this same area. Each door will have one or two chests. The chest will either be a random conjuration item or random loot. I have also gotten wand handles from the chest. If you keep going through the hall, you will get to the arithmancy classroom with two more doors. We will solve the one on the left first. For the next one, we will need to go back to Central Hall. The door is on the bottom floor of the southwest side. The second dial is on the floor above us. Hogwarts has brought me and my siblings. My family has been sorted into racing for generations. The next door is in the long gallery. Go down this hallway towards the portions classroom, but go down the stairs next to the classroom. This door will be locked with a level 1 lock. This area also has two entrances, both of them have a level 1 lock. Now we need to go to the bell tower, which we can get by going through this door. This is the other door with a level 1 lock. From here, take a left. Go all the way to the top of the stairs. The puzzle door is behind this door. The door has a level 1 lock. This might not be the best and fastest solution, but it is a fast route that you can take to get all the doors in one go.
The next one is behind the charms classroom. We will need to go back down the stairs we came from. But we are not going to the bell tower. Instead, we are going to the transfiguration courtyard. From there, we can go to the defense against the dark arts tower, which leads to the astronomy tower. Take a ride as soon as you enter the tower. We will take the stairs up four floors. We will need to go to the Great Hall oh, for the nice next one. You, you get there, friend. head down the stairs we came from, but only go down two floors. Go through this hallway, then take a right, and go across the bridge. Take the door on the left, this will lead to the quad courtyard. We will need to go to the other side of the courtyard, just follow the path I'm taking. This might look familiar from the Demiguy Statues Guide. We are just going in the opposite direction. Here we are at the Great Hall. The door can be found in this corner over here. Lumos. The next one is at the grand staircase near the stairs that lead to Hufflepuff common room. To get to the grand staircase, go through these doors, then take a left, take the left stairs, the door will be behind you on your left. The second dial is on the floor below us, next to the stairs that lead to the Hufflepuff common room. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Next one is in the faculty tower. From the door, go straight. Take the first hallway on the left. Then take a right into the door, the one where you can find Gladwin the Moon. Go to the floor above. Lumos. Now we need to go through the door we just came from. Take a left towards the grand staircase. From the grand staircase, take the stairs up to the next hallway. Don't go down. We are headed to the Gravenclaw Tower. Take the first hallway you see. The door is all the way to the end of the hallway.
and the last door is close to the top of the grand staircase. So just go back down the hallway we came from. And go up the stairs until you see the door. The first tile is found a few steps up the stairs. And the second dial is found right across from the door. We have solved every arithmetic door puzzle. There probably are faster routes than this, especially if you start at Central Hall. But I wanted to start with the first door where you get the page with the puzzle solution. And I wanted to get all the doors with little to no backtracking. So I think this is a good fast route. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.